Is this worth it? How long does it take to learn? And is it any better or any quicker than this? This is a, a Caracorder or a CC1 because there are other products that this company build. It doesn't have any normal keys that you would push down on to, to put the letters in. They, they've got little joysticks instead. As you can see, there's no letters next to the joystick and you don't really have any space to put the letters in there either. So you have to use either a cheat sheet that comes with the box or use some of the help documentation on their huh, Notion page. There are two sides to the Caracorder that you can actually take apart. You can take away the middle bar and then it's just connected by this extendable thingy in the middle that I never play around with. When you rest your hand on one of the sides, there's no wrist extension or ulnar deviation or pronation or any of those sorts of issues with how you put your hands on the Caracorder. But I have seen in the Discord that someone has had some issues, so I don't know it's completely healthy, but I haven't found any issues and I actually prefer it to a normal keyboard. The switches go in four different directions, so you've got north, east, south, west, but they also go diagonally as well, which I'm yet to learn. I'm only not even a month into learning this thing. You have all of your normal character entry over the four different levels of keyboard that you have. You can type all of the keys with these switches on the outside. These two in the middle do something else, which I'll explain in a second. And then this big one allows you to switch between this, these different levels. By pushing the inside, that's the shift key, and the shift key allows you to have all the capital letters and then a couple of symbols. The num shift on the outside, again this is your little finger on the outside, that gives you access to loads of other symbols. But you've then got a num shift and a shift on the other side, so you can push num shift and shift, so num shift this side, shift this side, and then you have all of the other symbols that you would normally get on a keyboard. The sides are duplicated or cloned, so these two big keys are exactly the same thing on both sides. These are actually a mouse and the arrow keys. The arrow keys is the one on the inside and the mouse is the one on the outside. Now I don't really use the mouse because it's quite jarring and doesn't work very well, but it can be useful. Then you can left click with this key or this key. But I do use this for the arrow key like all of the time. It's one of the first things I actually adopted really, really quickly. Which brings me on to the learning curve of using something like this. To start out with, I used Typing Club just to learn where all the letters were. There were some exercises in here which I couldn't do on the Caracorder, so I had to go back to my, my QWERTY keyboard because you can't push down a key and press another key at the same time. You'd have to use different fingers and it was just far too complicated in my head to start doing that at the beginning. As an example, if they wanted me to hold down J, which is going outside with this finger, and then they wanted me to push L, I'd have to let go of J to push L the other side. One of the magical things about Caracorder is you can actually do that, but it requires a bit more brain power. The bottom side of these little pinky switches are mirror keys. And what that means is if I push down the mirror key on this side, all of the letters and symbols on this hand move over to the left hand. So I could hold down J with my right hand and then push the mirror with my left little finger and then move over with the same switch with my left hand because I've mirrored all of the letters from my right side to the left side. Doing all of that as a beginner was a big no-no because I, I was struggling to put all the letters together so I just cheated and used QWERTY. Monkey type is brand new to me and this is my QWERTY speed as of like 10 minutes ago when I've just done these tests. And this is my Caracorder speed as of a week ago so it's nowhere near as close yet. But I've spent three hours on Typing Club learning where all the letters, numbers and symbols are. And then I used the company's own learning tool called Launchpad Learn. And as you can see, I played with it for the first couple of days, then I had some work to do for a couple of days, then I tried it for about a week, and then I had to do some actual work, so I didn't use it for a week, and I'm hovering around 30, 35 words a minute on Launchpad. If I was to give you a rough estimate, that's probably around 15 hours worth of practice on the Caracorder. One of the biggest reasons this device piqued my interest and I bought it is because, one, because of the TikToks where they're typing like faster than 200 words a minute and I can struggle to get over 100. But related to that is the cording ability, which is a brand new thing to me. Court reporters use something called stenography machines, I think I've said that right, where they mash different keys together to get words that come out. And that's exactly what you can do with this, and that's the cording part of the cara, character entry, and corder, corded entry. When I'm inside the launch pad, I can go down to Chord Manager, connect my Caracorder, so I've plugged it in, connect, and now I'm gonna download all the chords, and these are all the chords that's naturally just been put on there. I can edit the chord, delete the chord, revert the chord, and actually change some of the chords and add my own chords, and what chords are is basically when you mash loads of letters together, it spews out whatever the phrase is, kind of like a text expander. And as we go down the learning level, this one is just individual character entry, so individual characters like the alphabet. These are grouping letters together, so it's still just normal character entry. This is worded character entry, and then you can see I'm not here yet, cording. 
But even though I'm not at the chording section, I still know a couple of chords because one, I accidentally pushed some of them sometimes, and two, I've been nosing around at some of the chords anyway. So if I push T and E at the same time, it chords the. I can type ET or TE, but as long as they're typed close enough together, it just spews out the and corrects my mistake. And that right there is a dopamine buzz. When when you find a word that you can chord, it's like, oh, I know that one. And watching Riley do it in the TikToks where he's just chording all the big words, I'm like, oh, that's, it, it must be so much fun, but I, I'm not there yet. One of the first things that I actually started using this for is a lot of my hotkeys. So inside of Obsidian, my note-taking app of choice, I use lots of hotkeys, control, shift, whatever letter, control whatever letter, and my little finger on my left side, because that's where I used my control shift, ah, oh, the amount of achy pain I used to get, now, because my hand is just a small little push of the finger, it doesn't hurt at all. So I've actually started using Caracorder for all of my hotkeys in Obsidian, and then when I need to type out longer sentences, I'm still going back to QWERTY. And another place I've started using this, and I hate going back to my QWERTY now, is editing, and I'm sure there's other environments like gaming, where I have my right hand on my mouse, and my left hand on the left pad, and everything, my entire keyboard, is on the left pad. To give you an example, when I'm editing, to pause is spacebar, so that's just left with my index finger. I can navigate to the part of the edit that I need to cut with my mouse. I can then either backspace, again using my index finger but going up, or I can delete using my middle finger going up. If I want to cut something, that's control B. Now B is normally on my right hand, it's on my thumb on my right hand. But because of the mirror key, I can mirror with my little finger, I can push control with my third finger, and then B with my thumb. So all of my main hotkeys are on my left hand and my mouse is always in my right hand, so I'm not taking my hands off to push backspace or delete or find out where they are or spreading my hand across the keyboard to get to the control shift whatever letters, it's just so effortless. However, I don't think it's going to go mainstream because most people can type on a QWERTY and they can just look at the keyboard and find where all the letters are, which is why I think they developed the Caracorder Lite. And the Caracorda Lite is like a normal keyboard, it's like a normal QWERTY keyboard, you can see, but when you push the letters down together, it still has that chording ability. So it's like a, a normal QWERTY keyboard with chords. Both devices are expensive, so probably a more niche audience, but for having used this for about a month, there are some things, the Obsidian hotkeys, the editing, that I just don't want to go back to QWERTY for, because I haven't had pain in my finger at all while using this thing. I still have a lot of practice and a long way to go to get my typing speed from... 20, 30 words a minute up to 90, but when I'm there, I could surpass 90, which I could probably do in QWERTY anyway, but I don't have to worry about where the numbers are, because the numbers are just where the letters are, and the same with the symbols. So is it worth it? Yes, for me. What's the build design like? Pretty sturdy, pretty stable, it's got a case as well to protect things, and I have broken one of the switches by accident because I left the caracorder on the floor and dropped my keyboard on it. I didn't, like, smash my key, I, it fell off the... Anyway, I sent a video of the switch not working and the team are sending out a replacement part within 7 to 10 business days because I'm in the UK, not in America, so whole shipping stuff. And then how does it compare to a, a QWERTY keyboard? Well, with the letters, QWERTY is still faster for me, but with the numbers, with the symbols, Caracorder is far easier. The one thing I would say, though, is because I'm in the UK and the Caracorder is currently mapped to the US, I do need to map the keyboard to the US to have access to some of the symbols. But I can easily switch between the keyboard sets using the Windows Space, which is, again, on the Caracorder, really easy to access. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments section below, but I highly suggest you join in the Discord server because there are people in there that type faster than me, that know more than me, and Riley's in there as well to answer any questions, along with the support team. So... Head over there if you uh, have Discord or use Discord.